so not all not all pedals have buffers built into them as far as like for the purpose of buffering but to some extent all pedals are buffers so for example um you might want to buffer that's driving your signal chain at the beginning of your signal path and the end of your signal path but if you're going to have an always on pedal at the very front of your signal chain the input buffer really is not going to do that much because it's really just driving that six inches of cable to that next pedal and then that pedal takes over the the signal um so you can you can pretty blanket statement say when a pedal is on it is buffering the signal buffered bypass it is not it is true bypass um so that means its goal is when it is off that it's trying to touch your signal as little as possible so it's just a just a cable yep basically when it's disengaged it's a little three inch wire that's connecting this cable to this cable to move on in the signal chain uh i and so buffer means that it's actively buffers um yeah buffers are signal conditioning and is actively pushing your signal through um now it might still be through that three inch cable so is it is it like actual gain like db boost wise or? it's not it, so a good buff well i guess this a buffer that i look for shouldn't really color your tone mm -hmm. but when you have super super long cable runs say like by the time you get maintaining it yeah but by, by the time you get through your pedal board especially on my, like my rig is that it's probably 20 foot of cable yeah. between all the between all the pedals then you have a 10 foot cable going into the front and then maybe a 20 30 foot cable going to your amp depending on where your amp is on the stage and so you have 60 foot of cable that is that is adding capacitance which then takes high end off the further it goes along the signal path a buffer if you put it on the input and output of your board should um, help drive that and and retain the high end of your original signal so in my opinion and in my context you shouldn't hear a difference of you plugging your guitar directly into an amp with a 10 foot cable versus going through versus going through all that with buffers with good buffers 